afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? It's Charlie, the average guy fishing. Another episode brought to you by Sasha Renovation and Design, your local home improvement contractor out of Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. You know our motto, we're building your dreams, one nail at a time. Okay, as you can tell, things are a little bit different. I'm not on the water today. It's roughly about 6 o'clock in the evening. It's kind of cold outside. And I'm just sitting here relaxing, watching Fortune Fire, when I see the FedEx truck guy show up. And what's the FedEx truck guy got? This month's subscription from Six Cents Beats. We'll get to that in a minute. Um... Please, once again, subscribe, smash that like icon, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment, guys. I really appreciate it. Comments is what helps me build the channel. It lets me know what you guys want to see and what you guys, I don't know, want me to do. All right. Now, that that's out of the way, we're going to go ahead and hit up the subscription. Now, Six Cents is a monthly bait subscription along with my other subscriptions, such as Monster Bass, uh, Mystery Tackle Box, and everything like that. Uh, originally, I was going to go ahead and I was going to open them all together and pit them against each other, but that's not really what this is about. This is about getting baits that you like and that you know work. And with all the other subscriptions I have, I receive baits that I know work and baits that I like, and some I've never used. I mean... Their baits come in all these subscriptions I would have never bought if they didn't come in a subscription. And then I try them and I realize how great they are. So, alright, let's get to it. What do we have here? Open it up. Six Cents Fishing Products. We have the Divine Shaky Worm 6.3 10 Count in Cosmic Black. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the Divine Shaky Worm, I have actually caught a good bit of fish in the Spring and summer, I haven't really caught that many fish in the fall because, well, I just haven't really caught any fish in the fall. So, this is a good product to have. And I actually have this in the, I believe, purple and black fleck. So, this would be good to try, especially with everything slowing down right now. And what else do we have? Boom. We have a Speed Glide 7 8 ounce. And it is in the Ghost Bone Marrow. I already have this one, so this one here might be a giveaway, or it might be going to the new shop. I'm going to talk to you more about that here in a little bit. But these are great. The, my first cast using one of these was in a private pond, and I caught a nice 2.5 pound largemouth right off the bat. I mean... I've never really been big on uh, these kind of baits until I started using them. You know, I've never really been big on um, artificial baits, such as crankbaits and spinnerbaits. But I really got into it this year, and now I know why my dad likes using them so much, because they work. And this one here really works. If you want to catch some good bass, especially in the fall right now, this is a good bait. You can run this nice and slow. It has good action, sharp treble hooks, real sticky. These are good. So, but I already have one, so I may give this away. Next is the Movement L7 in a 5 8 ounce, 3 to 6 foot diver chartreuse spank. A beautiful, beautiful crankbait. Nice square bill. And where I'm at, 3 to 6 foot is actually perfect. And the chartreuse color slays it around here all year long. But this one here I'm probably going to put up and wait until that spring feeding frenzy. So, that's a good one. That's another great bait by Six Cents. I mean, Six Cents just tears it up. What do we have here? Boom. Quarter ounce, three aught, Six Cents, Divine Series, Shaky Head. In black. Well, we have this in black. And these our divine shaky worm in black so these are paired together that's a great pairing they put these products together so they work together and these have the three-aught super sharp these sharp 
these hooks are just like crazy sharp and it has the bait screw lock so you can just screw the bait on top then you can Texas rig with a text bow on top of it outstanding that's an amazing product way to put products together to make them work and what else boom a crush 50s silent in baby bass let's see what it says it's a silent square bill crankbait designed for crashing thick shallow cover and ripping out of grass. Cranking rocks or just burning in open water. Dives up to five feet in water depth. Excuse me. Fit it with black, sharp, premium nickel hooks. And I'll tell you what, in this area, with it being a smaller bait, with smaller size, especially in the fall time frame right now, this here is a great, great bait. I know it's kind of hard to see with the reflection on it, but I'll tell you what, you can buy this online at six cents, and they're having amazing Christmas sales right now. Everything on sale, it's awesome. So if you want this, one, you can get a hold of me, and maybe I'll give it to you. You never know. Or you can order it online and get yourself a monthly subscription. Next, we have the Six Cents Ball Head Finesse Jig in a 5 16th ounce black on blue. In my area, anything black on blue is great. It is amazing. Um, put yourself, put a good trailer on this and maybe a good prawn. But yes, this here is a great, great looking bait. It also has the screw lock technology, which most cents and most six cents products have. Um, and it even says, "I like this part right here on the back." It says, "Please leave our fisheries cleaner than you find them," and that is a really good idea. You know how I am about that. If you bring it, take it with you every time. Bring it, take it with you. If you see trash on the ground, don't be afraid to pick it up. Put it in a trash receptacle. Put it in a bag that everybody carries trash bags in their car. I know they do. And they put, especially fishermen and outdoorsmen, we all carry trash bags in our car. Pick it up, take it with you. Not that hard. Not a hard concept. What else we have here? And last but not least, we have a, what is this? A six cents fishing lanyard. This is actually kind of nice. I really like this. Let's go ahead and just open this one up. Oop, maybe. All right. Okay, obviously, I can't open it up. I'm not strong enough for that. So we'll take the good old uh, what we got here? Good old Winchester knife. Every every outdoorsman carries a knife in their pocket or on their table. I'm looking at my wife's coffee table and my coffee table, and I see probably three of them. So she probably could be happy about that. But this is a real nice quick clip. So. I may be giving this one to the old wifey. She puts up with a lot of my stuff. A lot of my uh, goofing off stuff. You know, my fishing stuff. Like right now, if I turn this camera, there is a whole corner right here full of my fishing stuff. Which, I mean, she really don't give me much crap about. Because she's a good wife and she likes me. And what I like about the Sixth Sense, it comes in a nifty little bag. Oh, see that? Nifty little bag. This is a great little bag. I have bags for my monster bass and everything like that. But say you don't want to <coughs> carry your whole setup. Like this right here is my setup that I carry on the bank. My bank setup, you know. I have way too much stuff to carry sometimes. And you know, if it's going to be a quick day, take your little bag. Take your baits. I'm like, all right, so what am I going to do today? I'm going to do a little finesse fishing. I'm going to put these in there like that. I'm going to... Have a little bit of soft plastic action. We'll just put everything in there like that. And then you can just carry your little bag, some terminal tackle with you. And then, boom. Done. Carry this around. Got your two, three, four, in my case, five fishing poles when I bank fish, which is a little bit of an overkill. <coughs> All right, back to what I was saying about baits and the whole maybe give it away or sell it thing. Um, I plan in February of opening my tackle shop okay I'm in the process of right now of trademarking the name the tackle box 
and Charlie, well, the average fishing guy, so I can have merchandise and products to sell in the store as well as online on YouTube and everything. But uh, like I said before, I live in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. We have a bunch of great fisheries around here. I mean, outstanding. We have big catfish, largey, smallies, you know, crappy, amazing trout, native trout, pork trout, rainbow trout, and everything like that in the area that I live. I mean, a half a mile down my driveway is my mailbox. 15 feet across my mailbox is a creek, Sleepy Creek. It's right across my street. Um, probably 10 to 12 miles that way is the Potomac River. Behind me is the Kikapin River. To this way is um, the Kikapin State Park, which had 100,000 visitors last year, this year, currently. And many of these guys fish. And they show up, they camp, and they realize that, oh, man, I didn't bring any fishing stuff. Because I didn't realize there's two great, awesome lakes here. So, there's a little spot outside, right outside the gates, the gas station. I've been talking to the owner about uh, renting and leasing one of these showrooms that they have and opening the tackle box. Berkeley Springs Bait Shop. And I'm in the process of... Whether I'm going to be a partnership or an LLC, there's a bunch of paperwork, there's a bunch of permits involved because it is a fisher, it is into the fishing DNR area. So I have to look into government permits, state permits, county permits, and there's a lot of stuff to do. And, you know, you guys' input would be great. Unlike the big box stores, I won't be selling massive quantities of different baits because I know what baits work in the area that I am. That I'm in. So those are the baits. I'm going to stick to the colors and everything. I will have some different variety for people. You know, I'm going to work. It's going to be a bait shop. And it's going to be a terminal tackle. It'll have, you know, because there are, it'll be geared to this area. And the areas surrounding me within like 100 miles or whatever. It'll have your trout baits, your catfish baits. It'll have your smallmouth baits your largemouth bait, your panfish, everything like that. I mean, there's no point in me selling saltwater tackle because uh, the closest saltwater is like five hours from me. So I don't need to do that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm a fisherman. And I love to fish. Now, we do have in the area close by small places that sell they have a very limited selection. It's mainly like hooks and sinkers, but they don't have the straight shanks. They don't have the EWGs. Uh, they don't have the finesse heads. They don't have the shaky heads and all this other stuff. But that's the kind of, you know, there's some fishermen out there that want those things when they come here. And the closest stores to this area is 45 minutes to Winchester, 45 minutes to Hagerstown and everything. So... As long as I get a good price, a good wholesale price on my products that I'll be getting, I'm going to push those savings on to the tourists and the visitors that come to Berkeley Springs and everything. I'm not trying to make a killing. I'm just trying to make a place to go to get your bait and tackle, maybe for the old timers to hang out, you know, with the little checkerboard in the corner with the two older people, you know, the mounts on the wall, the fish on the wall. And everything, just things like that. A place that when you come in, you don't feel rushed, you feel at home, you know, a knowledgeable staff. Uh, the only problem that I see with the whole thing is I'm going to be selling tackle while other people are fishing. So, I'm a fisherman and I love to fish. So, in the beginning, I'm going to be in the store and everything like that. But hopefully, I'll be able to get out because I still plan to try some tournament fishing and everything like that this year. Uh, it depends on how everything goes. I'm still going to have the construction company going. I'm going to have the YouTube, the Instagram, and all this other stuff. So, it's going to be a lot this year. There's going to be a lot of changes coming in 2022. And with you guys' help, we can make it successful. And I mean, successful. It doesn't, I'm not looking to get rich. I'm looking to, I don't have to drive 45 minutes down the road to buy some dang old crankbaits, some KVD, some Strike King, some Six Cents or anything like that. You know, and 
that's what it is. I just, and I want a wholesome area. You know, I don't want people coming in. I don't want profanity. You know, I wanted a nice place to come, buy your bait, hang out, talk to the locals. Locals talk to the tourists. This, that, and the other, and make people feel like they're at home. So, after you watch this video, you know, subscribe, hit the like button, smash the notification icon, drop a comment, let me know what you think. Please, let me know what you think. Okay, I plan on naming it the Tackle Box. Straight, easy, no problems. You let me know what you think in the bottom. God bless you guys. Have a great time. Goodbye.